WGN Investigates has learned a Chicago alderman has been involved in an accidental shooting again. Both instances involved injuries. Again. Investigative reporter Ben is here with the exclusive story. Ben? Dina and Ray, it might surprise some people to learn that being a member of the Chicago City Council is technically a part-time gig. Alderman Derek Curtis's other job is being a concealed carry firearms instructor. But that skill set and certification have not stopped him from yet another embarrassing incident with a gun. This one ended with the accidental shooting of his daughter. <laughs> Holy what? Man. Man, the, the NRA needs to pull his certs, man. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Is this a son, man? Who, who do you think this is a son, man? Or, or, um, a yeah, Curtis Town, son, man. I would I would have guessed Good evening, everyone. Man, I know who it is. Uh, my name is Alderman Derek Curtis. Three days oh. after speaking at a crime scene, Chicago Alderman Derek Curtis was at the Monument of Faith Church, where he was teaching a class for people seeking their concealed carry gun permits. A police report reviewed by WGN Investigate said Curtis was there with his adult son and adult daughter, showing a Glock 19 handgun to the class. The report quotes Curtis's daughter as saying the instructor, apparently her father, while handing her the firearm, it went off. <laughs> So yeah, one in the chamber. He shot his daughter. Oh. Yeah, one in the chamber, man. You don't have just mm. one sitting in the chamber. You should have checked it, man. It's just reckless. What What do you mean? You shouldn't have one in the chamber. I mean, like he was demonstrating there. Yeah, if he's had one in, the in the demonstration, he should have already cleared it before he even picked it up. Really, exactly, exactly. exactly. Yo, is that stun attacking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean. I don't know. Gun safety. You don't, I mean, teach, you don't teach a class with a loaded gun, weapon. Gun, gun safety is like it's, it's elementary, right? Everybody knows it. No, exactly. here, here in this story not. makes me. This story makes me instantly think he was a diversity hire because that's like <laughs> fucking that's gun safety one on one. No, no, he was teaching the Alec Baldwin uh, method. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Lucky he ain't bring the one with the switch on it. Yeah, man. <laughs> He's lucky he didn't kill nobody, to be honest. Yeah, he could you imagine? He hit somebody oh in the face. God. Hey, that's a sudden inaccuracy, though. We just hit people. We don't kill them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Like Showing that. a Glock 19 handgun to the class. The report quotes Curtis's daughter as saying the instructor, apparently her father, while handing her the firearm, it went off. Paramedics transported her to the hospital in good condition. She had been shot in the leg. I just wanted to know how would you work with different cultures. Curtis is a former Chicago Housing Authority police officer, and this is not the first good time Lord. he's been involved in a goof up with a gun. Last fall, he said he was helping a neighbor fix a weapon when it accidentally fired, hitting Curtis in the hand. It was an injury that required surgery. I'm sorry. He, 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 he should not. He should not be handling weapons. How does he not know to clear it out? Like, Take out the magazine. Check the chamber. Like, whoa, like I said, simple. diversity hire. Posing. Simple. It required surgery. Curtis has not responded. I wouldn't walk response. up to his Comments. fucking door. You get shot. <laughs> The alderman has been a close ally of Mayor Lori Lightfoot, but just yesterday told the Sun-Times his self-inflicted wound last fall inflicted damage on their relationship. He told the paper, I really was a number one cheerleader, but she never called when I shot myself. I wouldn't treat my friends that way. <laughs> oh, what a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wow. He actually called himself a cheerleader. Wow. Uh, Yo, he 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 go teach him. <laughs> Man, if, if I ever shot myself, my friends would call me up and give me shit for it. Dude, the mayor was man. supposed to call him after he shot himself. Hey, yeah. man, you should be like Cheddar Bob from 8 Mile. <laughs> I, got a, I, got a, I got a friend that actually shot himself. Um, oh, through, yeah. Through his, yeah through, with a Makarov through his knee. Jeez. And it was, and it was perfectly. It went perfectly between his kneecap and the the joint. He, he, he still walk to, He still walk to this day. He just has a. Sometimes he has like you know, like an issue come up, and you know you have to use a cane. But uh, but yeah, he can still walk. All right, let me ask yeah. you about the situation. How yeah. did that happen? Was the chamber not clear? Like what happened? The chamber. It's, it's a matter of the chamber wasn't cleared, and it, and the the 
the easiest thing that you can do is the one people forget is to keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. That's rule three. Dude, that's, that's, uh, and that's, that's and that's, that's the rule. That, that's, and that's really? yeah. That, well, that's that's rule three because that's the rule that gets violated. That's really gets violated the most because even when people handle guns that they know is that they know are unloaded, it still has a tendency to, to put their put their finger in the trigger guard in the trigger guard. Um, so take, it's kind of a thing you have to do continuously to just keep your finger off to the side. Most and guns don't just is, go off by themselves. My thing yeah. is, how did this guy hand a weapon to someone and shoot the person who he was handing the weapon to? How was the weapon even aimed in a manner where it could shoot at the person who you're handing it to? This oh. dude is an idiot, bro. Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah. I guarantee he was handing it to her. Muzzle probably out. down, probably yeah. down with his yeah, hand shot, on the grip. Shot, yeah. hey, my, mind you, he's an elderly. Don't it forget that. Down. He's a fucking elderly. It was muzzled down, but it must have been he must have had his finger in the trigger and she pulled yeah. she pulled the gun, right? So yeah. There you go. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is embarrassing. That way. First of all, it's unfortunate. That's what it says to me. Heather Wills is running against Curtis to represent the 18th ward on the southwest side. In the first instance, my first question is on a Monday at noon, why isn't the alderman at his ward office, which is open, and by and large, folks want to see their alderman present. When I have been walking these blocks, that's what I have heard. That's State gonna be police the easiest certified win ever. carry instructors. We asked whether two strikes on guns. Yeah, she's a sister, and he shot himself, and shot his daughter. Yeah, game over. Over. He made game game over. Over. Yes. And they just <laughs> banned guns in yeah. Illinois, right? Well, something yeah, I'll Assault all she needs on that her guy might as well be white. <laughs> yeah, uh, all all she needs on on her shirt is I didn't shoot myself and my my daughter. Safety are enough to disqualify someone from being authorized to teach those concealed carry classes. An Illinois State Police spokesperson said the law is not specific, but anyone is welcome to submit a complaint or concern. About an instructor's qualification. Man, revoke Great. his Excellent. license. Right, that is Hell alarm. yes. Thanks for bringing it to our attention. To Buckhead now. Residents are on edge after a woman has been caught on security cameras trying to break into dozens of homes. Shock size Denise Dillon talked to residents who are on alert and adding security. Smash. People here in the Peachtree Battle area at Brookwood Hills and up to North Buckhead double checking that their doors are locked. Night and day, even if they're gone for just a few minutes. Ringing, knocking, and trying the door handles. Just looking in windows um, of homes. It seems like... Damn, sis. And, and she's wearing some kind of uniform shirt. Yeah, like, I was just about to say that. It looks like a security guard's uniform. I see the, I see the stars and stripes on the shoulder. She yeah. like an African. This is the Floyd method, okay? This is the Floyd method where you yeah. dress, he used to dress up like he was with the water department. In his uniform, right. Yeah. She's casing our homes. This woman wearing a white shirt with a patch on the shoulder that reads security has been caught on dozens of surveillance cameras in Buckhead over the past two weekends. She is always seen in the daytime. Very brazen, very bold. She came up the driveway um, <laughs> while we were all home. And often goes for the side or back doors. In this video, you can see her going through a gate to the backyard of a home. And, and no this is in the state where there's constitutional carry. I mean, that's what I'm telling you, man. Like this woman, they just don't care. You can't compete with this. She's doing this in, she's, she's not doing this in New York City or Washington, D.C. She's doing this in, Atlanta, in Georgia. Yeah, but she's doing it in an area that's probably a whole bunch of, of, of pasty white liberals who do not have guns. A whole bunch of them. Yeah. And, I, and I, bet, um, I bet they're very, very thankful that she's wearing her mask, too. I mean, she wouldn't be doing this out, out in the, the boondocks out there. Yeah, she well, wouldn't dare do this shit. in a trailer park. Well, but they don't have shit. Hell no. So she's she's not gonna go out there because she's trying to get some nice not, stuff. Not, not not true. They they probably have guns. Even even the poorest even the poorest people down here in the south they have guns. Yeah, good yeah, guns yeah. too. 
Edwin was home at the time and she did not get into the house. But there have been times when a door has been left open. She's been confronted a number of times. She's showed up in people's living rooms. There have been reports of thefts connected to the woman in North Buckhead. A homeowner told Fox 5 she stole some purses and jewelry. She says police linked the woman to the thefts by her shoes seen in this video and images of her car. She has been seen driving a dark blue RAV4 with the tag covered. Neighbors are now taking extra precautions, adding security cameras, and are always on alert. And making sure that, um, you know, our doors are locked during the day. Alarms are set. Think about it. These white people didn't even have to lock their fucking doors, man. These people have, like, hidden driveways, like, you know, they have like long winding driveways out there in Buckhead. They have like luxurious, they're living luxuriously. <laughs> so yeah. they probably don't feel a need to lock the door. Even, even, the even the bro gliders don't feel a need to lock their shit when they're around other gliders. Yeah, it's just, you just live it. I mean, for what? I mean, why should you have to lock your door? Think about it. Why should you have to lock your door all the time? Maybe, of course, at night. Of course, at night. I like your fucking door. But, I mean, for the most part, I mean, during the day, you shouldn't have to lock your door. It shouldn't be people just coming in, checking your locks during the day. Yeah, it's true. But Crunchy Black said it best because niggas ain't right. Yeah, I mean, it's so true, man. It's just crazy. Who, who said that? Crunchy Black. The cameras are working. It's not a great way, you know, to have to live, but just to be on alert now. Neighbors tell me they've been working with police, giving them as many surveillance videos as they can to try to figure out who this woman is. In Buckhead, Denise Dillon, Fox 5 News. So again, we just saw the development today. There was an arrest in, in, in Wendy's case. That suspect that you guys were already looking for, you knew who he was, was found in Louisiana. Okay. Many That's another case. Well, a family in Oakland is starting this new year in grief. Their loved one, a longtime postal worker, was stabbed to death while walking home after finishing her shift. A suspect That's the second postal worker to be killed. I know this probably didn't have nothing. To do. They're not the same incidents, but this is the second black postal worker to be killed in the last two weeks. Has been arrested, but a motive is still unclear. A crime reporter, Henry Lee, is here after talking with the woman's family. And Henry, uh, the lack of a motive here must only add to their pain. Yeah, Heather, they're Trying just to get them postal keys, man. struggling to understand why anyone would attack a well-known member of the community who sorted mail, helped tend a community garden, and was a caretaker for her life partner. Three houses away. She was okay. She was on my son. But she's not coming home. Miles Spruill is devastated. His mother, veteran postal worker wow. Dilma Spruill, had just left work and was walking home in West Oakland when she was attacked on the street. Somebody came up, stabbed her multiple times. Spruill, who was 71 years old, died at the scene. Oakland police arrested a suspect, 28-year-old Wilbert Winchester, who has been charged with murder, a motive for the attack. 28-year-old Wilbert Winchester. He mm. killed on Chester Street, too. That's crazy. Wow, that's spooky. Winchester. But, um, yeah, but um, hit is, him with the Winchesters. Yeah, man, this is this is um, probably a skit stuff. But but I oh. is it me? The bus drivers can't drive the bus. The mail carriers can't fucking deliver mail. For this, like no, like what the fuck, bro? The librarians can't library. Well, can't, well can't. luckily for them, these motherfuckers can't read. Yeah, well, I mean, we just did a story to like an eighty year old woman got attacked at the library a couple years ago. Maybe, maybe it was a vagabond, uh, you know, passing through, but no way he was in there reading a book the or homeless, something. The homeless now hang out at the libraries. It's a sanctuary. I was them. just about to say yeah. that. Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, no, it's it's the Wi-Fi. They have a computer room, like at Martin Luther King Library in D.C. They have, like, probably the best computer room you've ever seen in your life. I That's mean, it's, you it's your porn or what? 40, 40 computers, and you sign up. You you put you, you sign up at the at a station. And when they call your name, it's a big like overhead TV screen with, with your name go. If you, when your number comes up or your name comes up, then they tell you which computer is open. 
you get 45 minutes or something like that, and then the t time's out, and then you have to leave, and then another person. Yeah, I, I used it over here recently. Yeah, so, so I, I mean, those, 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 those people stay in that library yeah. all the, 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 day. The, the, the one I went to, I there was no sun, man, unfortunately. Yeah. They, they, they love that place, man. Home in West Oakland when she was attacked on the street. Somebody came up, stabbed her multiple times. Spruill, who was 71 years old, died at the scene. Oakland police arrested a suspect, 28-year-old Wilbert Winchester, who has been charged with murder, a motive for the attack not yet known. Her son had this message for the alleged killer. I bid you peace and I bid you farewell. Um, Oh my God! What's wrong with these people? He no said shit. farewell. That, that's yeah, your mama. That's your mama, my nigga. Like, I, well, he did say farewell. Nah, he right. said he said he said doses. You don't know. Well, what does that mean? The guy's not getting the death sentence. What's that mean? What's that mean? Mm -hmm. peace and that? farewell. I, I mean, he, he probably don't know what farewell. He probably a son, man. He probably using the word wrong. He probably meant like like fair no, and well. Probably just saying more like he's just he's, emotional. He's probably just saying what all some people say, which is uh, I love my my family's killer. I, I love him. Damn, that's what it sounds like. I mean, I, if they put me that camera on me, it's over with. That's your yeah. mom. Oh no baby. shit. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna break your fucking neck. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna they, say. They they're gonna have to fire me, chief. Nah, I'd be <laughs> mad at the fact that the cops got him before I could get him. I'd be like, man, <laughs> right, I right. to a pack of him tonight. Right. I, I would say free him. Free the guys. Yo, yeah, I'd, free him. I'd be waiting outside the police office for him to get bond. Yup. Smoke his ass. Oh, because he's definitely going to get that bond. We already know that. Isn't that a federal charge? I think oh, so, because yeah. it's a mail carrier, right? Oh, yeah, yeah she was off duty. Yep. She was oh, off duty. Off duty. I, I don't think, I don't think that matters. He finna get paid. If she was coming home from work, she was in uniform. She's seventy-one. She been a uh, postal worker this long. Her son finna get paid. Any amount. I still want to smoke that dude. I probably go to jail just to smoke that dude. Oh hell! Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was kind of weird. Just to get, 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 just to get on the chair with him, <laughs> get close to him. Mm -hmm. hey, ain't no jury gonna blame you. I mean, he's probably just seriously. He's probably just a, a a mentally ill, random person walking around, and she just happened to cross his path. Well, well, who's crazier, I that dude or this one? Farewell. I say he's crazy. He's he's the crazy one. It's almost a damn farewell. Man, that's your mama, man. We used to fight back in school. Somebody say yo mama. They didn't even yo. say nothing about your mother. They just say yo mama. Right, exactly. He was exactly. brawling in the schoolyard. <laughs> your mother. <laughs> he could at least say, "Turn yeah. yourself in" or something corny Yo, like that. I, 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 I've seen I, I, he he spit on I don't think he's in the right. I don't think he's in the right state of mind. I think. I mean, I don't know how it would be if yeah, someone got be, I'm stabbed, I'm so. I gotta give him the benefit of the doubt, too, because that's too. But he could at least say, "We gotta do something about these guns." Anything. He could have said, he could have said anything. Night, but he stabbed her though. So was it a better or a sister? Damn. It's part of the script, man. Yeah, man. Oh, it's crazy, man. Um, I, we we got to ban all these high capacity knives and shit. Ban <laughs> these exactly. knives. Ban these assault knives. Yeah. Them assault knives. Her son had this message for the alleged killer. I bid you peace and I bid you farewell. Um, you took my best friend. You took the only last living birth parent that I have. It happened at about 12.30 mm -hmm. early Wednesday morning. Spruill had finished her shift sorting mail at the post office on 7th Street. She's been a postal worker for almost two decades. She was walking home in the middle of the night, which she usually does with no problem. But she was stabbed near 8th and Henry Streets around the corner from her home. Um, what the people that was cleaning up the blood, it was right here. So if anything, she normally doesn't walk up and then across the street because that's kind of backtracking. So she walks at an angle. It's tragic because this is something that she does all the time, walks home, doesn't bother anybody. Delma was sweet, the sweetest woman ever, like like my second mom. Spruill and her son were caregivers for her longtime partner, Welton Jackson, who uses a wheelchair and undergoes dialysis. 27 years. 27 years. <laughs> I hope there's justice. I hope. 
you find whatever you need to take for you to heal. Um, I'm not right. I won't ever be right. It's going to take me some time. The Postal Service tells me the victim being with... He hopes you find what you need to heal. That person doesn't give a fuck about... What he he he's talking about that? Yeah, of course he's talking... Who's he talking yeah. about? Right. Well, he did just admit he ain't right. Well, I mean, we knew that, though. But is she black guy? Is his mom? Is she a sister? She look like a black guy. Justice. I hope. That's a light skin sister, man. I, been been I, th I thought Black Lives Matter. What happened? Nah, <laughs> man. Hearing that old man you? cry breaks my heart. She, yeah, her yeah. skin's way too light to qualify for that shit, bro. You know that. Well, you know she get colorism in the community though. You know, black, you know, black you know. people, black people. The, she, I don't think I don't know nobody who wouldn't think she was black. I mean, like she, she looked like a light skin. She looked like black a black lady with, the, with good hair. Yeah, she looked like she she looked like she light skin. Mm, like that a little different. Okay. Yeah, not in that picture. Like in that picture not, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not. I see sure. his sister. I see his sister. Rose apart. Mm -hmm. He looks like yeah, an like Rose apart. Okay. Nah, she don't like it. No, she look like a sister. She look like this chick when she grow up. And she... Yeah, look like her <laughs> when she get old. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, like, what, 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 a, I mean, what, what, what do you? That's a, it. Looked like a black. Okay. I, I don't know. Oh, okay. yeah, now but whatever. I see it. Yeah, but whatever. Now I see whatever. It. I mean, um, if we like know a, like now, a, a boiler. We know she has bladder blood Damn. in her. You know that, like, it's not saying that she doesn't have lighter ancestry. Right. We know that. This is uh, what they whine their eye. This is disgusting, man. Uh, salute to Jared. Salute to Jared. Um, he says, "Did you hear about Police Colors' cousin today?" No, I didn't, man. Um, I didn't hear about Police Colors' cousin. I have to look into that. He's supposed to be uh -huh. the next one. Like, I think he meant Patrice Colors. All right, we're gonna look into right. that. It's gonna take me some time. The Postal Service tells me the victim beamed with energy, joy, and brought light to all who had the pleasure to know and work alongside her. Now, as far as the defendant, I have learned he's been charged with attempted murder as well for allegedly stabbing another woman two days before the postal worker. So why he <laughs> wasn't we, in jail? we know his name and we've not seen a photo, definitely yeah. a black man. You know it. You so know he it. did this before and they let him out of jail. No, no, he hadn't he, been he caught hadn't for that. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, he just was on the street. Salute to Jared Davidson, man. Um, he said he said, um, Patrice Colors, um, what your face was killed by a cop today. Damn, if I had known that, I would have done the story about that, man. Shout out to um 